So Newt Gingrich has been speaking to the media a little bit recently. He did an interview with Politico a few weeks ago where he was lamenting the fact <clears throat> that some of these Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene, they have these small dollar machines that can like get them to run the show and that basically they have power because they go directly to the crazy Republican base versus when he was in power and it was much more traditional where you just had big billionaire Republicans calling the shots and then the base gets manipulated. Now the uh, inmates are running the asylum basically and then becoming representatives in and of themselves and he was just like oh, i would be doing a much better job i'd be doing a much better job it was you know right of course self-aggrandizing um uh, but he would not be doing a much better job because he's exactly like every other republican in sucking trump sucking up to trump here he is uh, <laughs> i don't i don't want that are you a 10 newt nat um here he is defending trump and you'll never guess what he compares how trump is treated to i think in terms of the court uh something that uh, speaker mike johnson said really struck home with me when he said about the decision on whether or not to help israel and ukraine that this is not a game let me tell you i am deeply worried that tomorrow a totally corrupt judge and a totally corrupt district attorney are going to try to put a former president of the United States, candidate of his party, and front runner in the polls in jail. Now, I think this is so horrendous that there has to be some way to reach out to the Supreme Court. I mean, this is literally like some of the civil rights workers in Mississippi in the 1960s. Yeah. Literally. Uh, the New York system is now so deeply corrupted and it is so bitterly, deeply anti-Trump. Uh, the absurdity of the judge's daughter who made millions and millions of dollars doing anti-Trump politics and the judge would like us to believe, much like Joe Biden, he had no idea what his children were doing. I mean, the whole thing, frankly, <clears throat> resembles on the waterfront Stanley Kubrick's growing film. This is about corruption. It has nothing to do with honesty. <clears throat> and what worries me is it's a genuine threat to Donald Trump. I mean, I, I think any step that would put him close to a New York prison uh, is an extraordinarily dangerous step. And I would hope that there's some legal way to block it and make sure that it never happens because the thugs he's dealing with are totally out of control, have total contempt for the rule of law, and frankly well, are unworthy so, sorry, of why being are they in so the office. Anti-Israel protesters? That's what I was curious to. The well, split screen is crazy. It's not anything to do <laughs> with Trump. Well, because they were just having a live feed of it all right, all right. evening. <laughs> I, it's like the, it's like Watchmen shit. It's like can't like, miss like, this. Like, can't. Are these guys protesting Trump or no? No, it's just Israel stuff. He's like, Newt, you're absolutely right. I could have no, been a contender. Totally, right. Newt. Uh, a freedom fighter learns the hard way that it is the oppressor who defines <laughs> the nature of the struggle, and the oppressor yes, is often left no recourse but to use methods that mirror those of the oppressor. They call me the Mediba. At a certain point, <laughs> at a certain point, you can only fight fire with fire. <laughs> I'm trying to find this uh, Newt Gingrich quote They call here. me the Great Mediba. Do we Nelson? have more of this? Yeah, we can keep going. All right, keep going. Hold. Oh, no, we don't. Right. Actually, we had one second more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> In planning the direction and form that the MK would take, we considered four, four types of violent activities, sabotage, guerrilla warfare, terrorism, and open revolution. For a small and fledgling army, open <laughs> revolution was inconceivable. Terrorism inevitably reflected poorly on those who used it, undermining any public support it might otherwise garner. Guerrilla warfare was a possibility, <laughs> but since the ANC had been reluctant to embrace <laughs> violence at all, it made sense to start with the form of violence that inflicted the least harm against individuals. No one had said anything Sabotage. about yeah. No one had said anything about guerrilla warfare. Right. They lock me up. It's just like Mandela. I would love Trump to start quoting Mandela at some of his, his rallies. Here's the quote from Politico. Uh, let's put this up here in uh, in the interview he did on the 19th, or that was published on the 19th. Uh, Newt's, Newt's asked, "Do you ever look at the House and think if I was Speaker, I could get these knuckleheads in line?" He answers, you can't keep them in line because the technology's changed. They have the ability to make noise. They have the ability to go on television and they have the ability to use the Internet to raise money from people who only know who they are because they saw them on television. So why do they care? 
and the interviewer asks, how would you handle them if you were this, in the speaker's chair? I would do what is right and tell them it's their problem. Do you want someone who is going to be a coward and who is going to spend every day making sure that all 218 or 219 members are happy? Then you need to get somebody else. If they want a leader, I'll be glad to lead. That's what I said several times. Once we had a rebellion and at the end of the rebellion, I had a meeting and I said, I will stay as speaker only if I'm speaker. I mean, it sounds like he's literally offering himself up to go redo this because anybody can be speaker by the way that's why trump was floated at one point i also always find it fascinating his staying power because like he literally has not been an elected official in 25 years well but when he was an elected <laughs> official he was infamous he's just resentful that they have the internet now to fundraise he was re infamous for going on the floor and advertising himself on c-span by c-span by being the biggest blowhard out there so it's just so rich for him to pretend he would do anything differently and that video of him defending trump and just repeating what trump said about the judge's daughter that trump can't say because now he has the gag order which he's already violated right like, this is good this is good surrogacy for tr for trump he's just <laughs> repeating what trump wants him to say and we're supposed to believe newt gingrich would be in any way different than the crop of republicans that we have right now they'd probably but, vacate him too totally <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 45 of A Long Walk to mar oh, Our strategy was to make selective forays against military installations, power plants, telephone lines, and transportation links. Targets that would not only hamper the military effectiveness of the state, but frighten National Party supporters, scare away foreign capital, and weaken the economy. This, we hope, would bring the government to the bargaining table. Strict instructions were given to members of the MK that we would, be, we would countenance no loss of life. But if sabotage did not produce the results we wanted, we were prepared to move on to the next stage, guerrilla warfare and terror. Wow. Has so, anyone ever, ever read The Long Walk to Freedom? Anyone I, read The Long Walk to mar lago <laughs> folks? Um, uh, come on. He, the Long Golf Cart uh, Ride to mar lago <laughs> The Long Ride to mar lago via golf cart. I don't walk between <laughs> holes. Uh, I'm the great Mediba. Uh, uh, Garrett I'm Rabbit Island here. <laughs> <laughs> he would never be seen with his shirt off to have to swim there. <laughs> um... Although I guess you can't swim there. Um, that's the point. Garrett S. says, uh, Matt's Trump impression always turns into Eric Cartman. <laughs> I tried to add a little gravel in there. Cause I, usually, I usually just do the smooth Trump. But sometimes you got it. Because he does, he, he he does, does transfer. That. He transfers registers like at, at oh, will, yeah. basically. I like love when singer. he goes into that lower register. Uh, you know, the guy that does that the best is... Uh, James Austin Johnson. James Austin yeah, Johnson. So who good. SNL scooped <laughs> up like, at, right after we had him on the show. And I almost like well i right. did cry laughing he was so good that. That, was, that was very good very good he i mean he does the he does it for snl now 